There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Let's see. Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Welcome to the last stream. Can you hear right. us? Can you hear us? Mama, can you hear us? No, we're starting now. Yes, we did it. Yes. Oh, we are starting now. We are live. All right. Right, we're live? New footage of the Bigfoot. Yeah, it looks like it's live. New fitted footage of the Bigfoot. Send and this send it's this. Not this new to footage Eric. of the Bigfoot. That is the oldest footage of the Bigfoot there is. Well, there's a new he's stabilized. It's not new either. That came out like five years ago. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Welcome to my mandate, everybody. I do want to see this footage. I don't know how to get it to Eric. I don't have his telephone Eric, number. Eric, just look up a uh, stabilized Patterson Bigfoot. film. Oh, the, uh, stabilized Patterson God. film, and it'll come right up. Please, God. It's my mandate, everybody. And also a little bit later, should we spoil the surprise? No. No, we're not going to spoil the surprise. There's going to be a surprise guest. Someone's having a birthday. All right. It's Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Everybody put your hands. I did it. I did it. Man, then we can finish the job. God damn it. Father time. I can't believe. What are you doing, Father time? You know what? I just realized maybe Father time is a fucking little conservative asshole. That's why all these old motherfuckers never die. Henry Kissinger is still alive. Yeah. Bullshit. Dick Bullshit. Cheney's still alive. Bullshit. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. We have a bunch of great videos to get to today. Um, before Henry makes fun of me, yes, That's I did it. accidentally pee myself. Yes, on no, Sunday. We, That's no, fine. it's no. Um, it's, so we're gonna get that out of the way right away before we, you have your little bit. You're just blue. I. Um, it's, what's funny, Kissel, is that the this is the third time I completely forgot about it. Yeah, uh -huh. I literally wasn't I even going it. to bring up the fact that you voluntarily pissed yourself. I didn't voluntarily do it. Just outside of the exit of your home, Marcus. It's because I couldn't get the belt off due to my fupa. Uh, so are you saying that the Hollywood stuff has failed? What? The Hollywood stuff has failed. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. He no, would no, need no. a Hollywood The band. Hollywood stuff, for those that don't know, <laughs> the Hollywood stuff is before the shows. To make the magic happen, I take a wad of toilet paper, jam it in the crotch of my pants right in front of my cack and balls. First of all, it gives it a nice bulge, a little bit more confidence. And second of all, if there is any drippage during the show, you ain't going to know about it. But to be honest, I've never had any drippage. I, yeah. I just heard Ozzy covers himself in water so he can piss himself. Yeah. Sure, sure, and sure, so sure, I sure. said, I'm going to do what Ozzy kind of does but I'm not old enough to pee myself. I actually oh, find the stuffing yourself to be or appear larger to be much sadder. It's symbolic. Than the pee pee, the pee, -pee like block. It okay, is. So, it's a tradition. Okay, so let me get check in with the chat. What's going on, chat? Yes, everyone's saying yes. Yeah, everyone, yes. Ben Pissel. There we go. Classic. Oh, how did I never think of that? Ben no, it's Pissel. very. It's because you're. It's because you're not an idiot. Okay. All yeah. Right. Of course, Pissel, Kissel, Missile. Rookie B. I don't think you're an idiot at all. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ben Pissel. Oh, really creative. No, I'm just joking. I'm not going to be sensitive about this. No, I'm not at Let's all. Not like I was sensitive about Marcus Farts or anything like that. Ben Pissel. Well, no one. <laughs> And they just how about all over Henry Zabonski? <laughs> I love it. I'm hard as a, I'm hard <laughs> That's as not possible. that bad. Oh, I mean, okay. Zabrowski, he's Polish. It's uh, it's yeah. in the tea leaves. Um, but for those of you, I saw a couple of people saying that they were late. Just so you know, Ben voluntarily peed no. himself on his I way didn't. home from an engagement. Oxnard from a, Levity from a, Life. Thanks for coming out, everybody. You guys went out to see him live, and then to thank you, mm -hmm. he pissed himself afterwards. No, indeed, that's not at all the way it happened. We were stuck in traffic, minutes mm -hmm. away from home. And God called me and he said, Ben, <laughs> I've got a message from your tummy. It's a leak. Uh -oh. uh oh. All right, let's show that footage, the old new footage of the Sasquatch. I still Do we, don't understand how I this happened, had but maybe up. you'll explain it to me later. No, because he see he keeps there's a lot of details. There's no that details. He's just blowing over. No, I'm not blowing over anything. It's yeah, so, it it's, feels like a smoke screen I, stabilized version of the Bigfoot. Let's just see it. Make, I, do you think this makes more evidence that the Bigfoot is real or less. Let's just watch and debate. See, now this is stabilized footage. This of the is Patterson stabilized footage. footage. Or is this Kissel should have been looking for a bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> is this the man, no. what he should have looked like? I think it makes more evidence. I think it points in the direction of, ooh, it seems like that's a person in a suit. Um, but Marcus, you believe that there's further evidence that the Bigfoot is indeed real? Well, yeah, because I think he looks so bothered. And I believe that Bigfoot, if he did see a mm -hmm. man out there filming him going, uh, 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 that he's going to do that look behind like, what the f fuck off? I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. I also, again, if you see the other one, the other new, new version of the stabilized old Patterson film mm -hmm. is that you see what is key here. 
Musculature. Musculature. Yes, but when, okay. All That's of a us, man, baby, according to Harry K. Sorry about this. Thank Show you. it again. This is real, B. This all absolutely us, is. Yeah. You know, I think that it proves it's a person because all of us have given each one of us this look when we were just, let's say, launched into something we didn't want to do. Yeah. Like when you had to be told this Joe. Nah. And it was like 10 hours. And you're like, I thought I was going to be in and out. And next thing you know, you're covered in beans. I really did. I uh, thought the Tolis show was going to be a lark. I did not know when they told me to leave your apartment not wearing shoes <laughs> yeah. to walk and go dance underneath the BQE. Yeah. I was not aware that you that gave was going to be a part look. of my day. That also, is I'm covered in cheese. Technically, it's been a rough couple he, of days. He is literally all splattered with cheese. It's called <sighs> Hollywood producing. I yeah, because right. everybody on a set is on a need to know basis mm -hmm. and you find out mm -hmm. what you need to know and largely what you don't need to know is how long you're going to be there <laughs> how much you're going to get paid yeah. and what fully you're signing up to do because if you knew one, two, and three, you would not arrive. That's, yeah, and that I, is the Hollywood curse. I also didn't know that I was going to be dancing around in my horrible backyard off of Wilson Avenue in the cold. It was cold. Uh, yep. Like I remember, it was cold. I was only wearing uh, I was only wearing overalls. In I this still case, have. He footage. is very hot. He is in. He is in a full suit. He is very hot. And that look <laughs> that he gives to the director is literally really, bro. Fuck you, dude. Look at. I'm so never we'll doing play this it again. again. Let's, Let's do one more thing. Let's just take a small pause at the look. Pause. Seriously, bro? Seriously? This is what you want me to do? That's what he's saying. Seriously? Am I getting paid for this? No. Well, honestly, if he knew, well, okay. Okay, that's right, classic. Yeah, that's, that's definitely that's your, that's I mean, your that's classic. Vintage that's one. called, yeah. um, I thought that there was going to be seltzers. <laughs> um, <laughs> However, I you thing... said something about buying me some sandwiches later, Henry. Let's take it back a little bit more. I want to point out two features mm -hmm. on this Bigfoot. Let's musculature. take it forward. It's in musculature. I wouldn't necessarily. You're going to point out that butt is what you're going to do. I was going to point out the butt. No man would out... ever move his arms like that. I was also going to point out the breasts. That Bigfoot obviously has. Has breasts. He's wearing a costume no. like Bob from Fight Club. Look, you can see that the Bigfoot has breasts. Look, so you think that the, the fact that there's boobies means it's a Bigfoot? I well, that's so the that's thing. a female Bigfoot. It, breasts With a butt too like that true. and breasts like that. I think we need to think about the possibility. A female. All right. What well, this? You know what Sorry. I actually have never found is a footage of that guy of like a picture of that guy because I feel like what's difficult is is that when you you know it's not right Patterson what's the name who's the other guy it's Patterson Dingle D Dingle Dick uh, Dingle Dick it's right. Dingle Dick. Uh, Patterson Dingle Dick but yeah. this footage it's like you always Bar. say oh it was his buddy in a costume right. but I've never seen footage of Patterson next to his buddy that was Kissel no, right, because like, that's yeah. not a very tall Bigfoot. That's why I never got the role when I auditioned to be Bigfoot. They said I was too tall. Patterson We're, Gimli. Patterson Gimli. Okay, Gimli. Ooh, I like a Gimli. Gimli's from Lord of the Rings. Uh, and my uh, right. But that's interesting because, right, wouldn't you think if he definitely, if it definitely was his buddy, mm -hmm. that he would have that big, fat, angry man <laughs> like near him, you right? Just going like, seen uh, together anymore. actually, it was because I couldn't get my belt off underneath my football. <laughs> and that's the reason why he was walking uh -huh. to the side. All right, let's show my first video. Let's go to British shit. Why not? This is just think it's funny because it's British and you know, they're goofballs. They do everything they half goofballs. weird. Yeah. Yeah. And everything in a British accent's funny. Water bags for boobs, muscles. Isn't this all along established, according to Satan's little helper? helper no, only to the cuckoverse. Mm -hmm. Only in fucking Stratford, you see someone shitting in the fucking phone box. <laughs> only in fucking Stratford. Wow. He's like bragging about it. Fuck. I love this woman. Yo, it's not a fucking toilet. Yo, no stop filming. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got to do a little wipe. You look how it's working. I'll fucking send you out of there. You shit in the fucking thing. Wow. <laughs> it's gross. Yeah, not to be. He's the pervert? <laughs> shit up in our blood clot, one box. He wants her to get a <laughs> blood clot. connecting people with your shit. Yeah, go on. Go on. Go on. Not to be. Dirty bitch. All right, so that happens in the UK, and even that seems a little classier here. than when it happens here, huh? According to that. Simple Rick, it's the accent, because it sounds like chimney sweeps shitting publicly. You dirty bitch. Simple Rick, Simple Rick but you says know a lot of people say that they didn't have costumes that detailed when the vid was taken. But this oh, my fucking God. Are we going to read? We're, we're done with Sasquatch. That segment's now over. I don't know what to tell you. Now I'm locked in and thinking we're about We're not just this doing Sasquatch talk. Where are the costumes? They're in the fucking 
wherever, wherever, they're wherever. Where are all of your costumes from? All of your sketch experiences? I gave them up because of the, they reminded me of a sad youth that has now passed, and yeah. now I am heading into a new oh golden era of of middle age. You were all in your thirties, by the I'm way. I'm just here in my thoughts. I use my my thoughts are gold. I don't need costumes and props anymore. Who has the dildo brain? That's dead, that's, dude. That's in a taxi. That got stolen out of a taxi. Oh. Remember Henry or Holden left it in a taxi. Holden lost. Oh. Yeah. And he Holden came back and he's like, Ugh, blah, God, that For lost. those of you that don't know, we used to do a set. My the sketch, uh, my sketch group Murderfest, we used to do a sketch that took place on a porn set. And one was a character, Holden played a character named Brainzor. And he had a big <laughs> fake brain with a bunch awesome. of dildos hanging off of it, yeah. right? Straight up $150 worth of dildos. And we were broke at yeah. the time. That was a uh, lot of dildo money yeah. for yeah. us. No, no, that especially. was budgeted. And then he left it in a trash bag because he had one fucking responsibility. Yeah. He had one fucking responsibility Didn't and he needed it. to hold on to that brain hat. It was huge. And it was huge. Hard to, hard to lose. But what did he do? Oh, he got blackout drunk. And, and then he left it in the back of a cab. In the trunk, I think. So oh, yes. Somewhere. Some well, fucking guy found it. But yes, can I? we'll go back to repacking. Let's unpack this episode, this this video. Now, let's do this. Let's go to. Uh, but I want to know why would you. What would take you to shit that public? You had to shit. But I also. What I like about her is she wiped. Usually when you're going to do a dump and go. Mm -hmm. Which that's your classic dump and go. Yeah. You're like. I'm already doing this in public. No need to wipe. Let's get out of here as fast as Why possible. Why are you but, wiping? What, but, well, point, because she's a classy lady, uh, Henry. No, I, I actually think that because she's wiping, she's not ashamed enough of what's happening. What does because she be ashamed of? Natural beauty. Natural. It's not natural beauty because I think it's actually more of an offense to shit in the phone booth than it is to shit on the street. Who yes. uses a phone booth anymore? Superman's dead. The only person that does it is someone playing Superman downtown Manhattan right now who's a known sex offender. CIA? MI6? They, no, they don't. <laughs> They're MI6. using to It's just like, what's his butts? They got fucking, what's his name? Um... The daredevil? He thinks it's his one bedroom apartment in New York City because he's blind as hell. You got that superhero. Right. Let's but, then, go but, to, uh, but yeah, I honestly think, yeah, you should just shit. I don't really understand you why you the, need to wipe if you're already publicly Because she's a classy woman, and technically I do agree with her. Why is the man filming? And that's why I showed that because I think the man was being predatory. And no. the woman was living her best life. This is she was not living just, her best life. No. You know. She was living her life. Let's she was living the, all life. Let's stick in the bathroom. <laughs> you're realm. covered in cheese. You pissed yourself openly. <laughs> I don't know. You said that now you're saying that it's. You're just saying that the man I who have, all right. is the man who was just. <laughs> I'm so going to go back to my dry January. January. Ever, since you, ever since you pissed yourself, it seems like your policy on public <laughs> defecation and urination has become quite lax. Fieri it's fan 666 says shitting in a phone booth paid for with tax money is actually anti libertarian. There you go. Well, that's fantastic. I don't know if that point. I think it's more libertarian. Uh, let's go to porta potty. I actually forgot what this video is. Porta potty. Let's see what we got here. Let's oh, so you're just room. picking up random. Oh movies. yes, this was interesting. This this is interesting. Now let's play this. Sleazy Dan, you're right. If you're shitting in public, you've already agreed to be filmed. Porta potty. What does it do? Buy a porta potty. Uh, depending on who the guy is. Okay. Try to not be racist. For $5,000. You what? Wow. There it is. You gotta, you, do, right? you gotta do what you gotta do. So that's the old Dubai porta potty. Swallow someone's shit for 5000 bucks. I think she's lowballing herself. Wait a that's second. just me. You know what? That actually, that? that actually makes sense. Because I, I, usually, like stuff like the rusty trombone, you know, the donkey punch, that stuff not, not really makes it. But the Dubai porta potty, you're eating shit for a large amount of money. Yep. That makes sense. Why? Because Dubai has a lot of money. Yeah. No, I know. Dubai is one of the con richest countries on earth. I know, or, uh, but I cities. think that you should still get more than five thousand dollars. Because if the person's rich enough to shit in your mouth for five thousand dollars, he'll do it for ten. But uh, the that's thing is, point. is that I also think find a wife. If that, we're at the that's point, willing to <laughs> suck your shit down her gullet. Yeah, if, if we're at the point where we're where we're doing this, where we're in this negotiation phase, I feel <laughs> like we're not weird. really thinking clear because if you are you have to sit here and really talk about because I feel like hmm. if the night could possibly even end in me eating your poop and I know <laughs> that it's going to take cash money yeah. for me to do that but I feel like you're the guy that would do it right like I feel like I have an inkling Ugh, like yeah. like in love is blind Right. Where you Not everything is about love is blind. This is your like Walter just watched, Vietnam. What I, does this have to do with love is blind? I watched a reunion. <laughs> you when you're listening to each other talk, right? You you kind of have this idea like, oh, this person might have big boobs. Right. By the voice. By the voice. So if, you, if you listen to somebody, they might think like, oh, this guy might pay 
for me to eat his poop. Yeah, right. And because I might be able. No, to I don't think her. that she is requesting it. I think that this is a request brought upon her, and she'll yeah. do it for five k. It's yes. a request brought upon her, absolutely. But and, but I guess is she when she's listening to a guy and thinking like this guy is going to pay me to eat his poop. Your number is set, or I think early. Yeah, set at five thousand. That I mean, I do, but he I said then it, I'm she back. She needs to set it up to 10. higher, ten thousand, yeah. because then the guy can be like, "What about eight five? There you go. And then you can be like 10,000 or I yeah. tweet this. It's how an much, episode of Shark Tank. How much negotiation goes on during a sex work oh, a lot. experience? A, a lot. lot. Yeah. Well, a lot. Well, no, it's not negotiation. It's pretty standard. Like 300 bucks. Great. Boom. Okay. Then but you, you don't, you don't, you go like, hey, now, but I'm not that good. No, why I don't, don't we like, like, why don't you, why don't we think about this? The you know, I'm not that good. sex gal is hard enough. We can't be nickel and dime in these chicks. Yeah, no, I think that, that is the, the yeah. true most ally thing I've ever heard you say. Yeah. What? All right, let's move on. Let's go on. Let's do the. Oh, right, sure, we're there. Hawaii chair infomercial. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. John McAfee eating the poop in the hammock. Oh, that's right. Remember that? God, I can't believe he's still in charge of our virus malware. Ugh. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on, whatever. Yeah, well, Michael, Mrs. The Refrigerator, world. Michael was full of shit. Work out the Hawaii uh, chair. Do you remember this? <laughs> no. You know, Tamara, the Hawaii Tam chair wasn't designed just for home. Is Tamara I mean, alive? After all, for some of us, at least 40 hours of our week is spent sitting behind a desk at the office. So That's to true. see what office workers think of the Hawaii oh, chair, Hulu. we sent Aaron Lee Hulu, to work. It's Hawaii. Hi, I'm Aaron Lee with Perfect USA. <laughs> it's obviously so Hawaii uncomfortable. Very what? Work environment. What Let's would get some this do? Reaction. Looks like she has to fix. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's <laughs> great on my abs. I can really feel this working. What does it do? Are you supposed to type? <laughs> They're all the nauseous. Computer, balancing books or filing paperwork. You, can't. you can hardly call this work. With the Hawaii chair, it takes the work. You can also hear it like humming. Thanks, Aaron Lee. <laughs> Look at it there. I what also have like no idea Hawaii? what it has to do. <laughs> yes. Why? Why is it I the Hawaii tell, chair? Because they're doing the hula. Yes. They're doing, they're doing it's the, that's why it's it called Hawaii. The, they're doing the hula. Is, it's the because oh technically God. the hula is like you're supposed to kind of go up, right? Like with it, and it's like it's full hip yeah. isolation. No, with all like, the time. No, the hula's like oh, this. he knows. Yeah. Marcus knows. Yeah, I know. He knows how to hula, baby. Yeah, I got been a later time or two. Go back and forth. Yeah. But this, I don't know what that helps with Out office of, work. No, I don't know how it's because it's not it helps your abs. That's what he doesn't. said. He said, "Oh, my abs feel great." I think they were burning. Um, the thing is, with all the work of people trying to get out of Lindsay Necropolis, they might as well just work out. Truly, mm -hmm. this is good practice for dick riding and grinding. Sure, yeah, that's you, fine. Yeah, no, that's because great. no, no, it's not. Actually, because then you once you do it without the chair, then you have no more muscle. Because the muscle's been eroded. Because the chair is the one moving your hips. This is what I'm saying. Mm. I don't know how it exercises you. It's like the it's like the old vibrating machines that were that's supposed to make you lose weight. I don't know enough about kinesiology to agree nor refute. Is well, it yes, kinesiology? We do, because that's the whole point. It's wrong. Isn't that muscle witchcraft? <laughs> I don't know what's going. Isn't on. Isn't that there. made up? Right, uh, Chad? No, it's the study of mi of muscles. I know that. Yeah, but the that idea like Ke that, that was uh, Kevin Barnett's major in college. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, kinesiology. Yes. Even he but said it, it was kind of made up. <laughs> well, he it's said all, all nutritionists are like technically witch doctors. <laughs> no, he never. I don't think he ever said that. I think that he said we were eating all bad. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, he yeah, yeah but yeah, he always yeah. looked good. Yeah. Well, because he didn't eat quite as bad as we. And he could do flips. He could do flips, and we yes. couldn't do flips. He's slightly more athletic. But yeah. the idea of just like sitting in an office, because yeah, because you say like in the the sound of it, you heard the <laughs> hee, 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 yeah. hee, hee. like what would that do in an office besides I, make you enemies? Oh, it would make you. It, it would increase office shootings by tenfold. Uh, oh. Will, what we do need is we need a Sibian in here like the old Howard Stern. Oh, to, that'd and, be fun. I agree. Because maybe agree. we can hold, put it up on its side well, or we can use it massage our backs. <laughs> now that we're in our exercise block, <laughs> um, well, let's go with this video. This is about vaginas. Let's go to video number two. Now, the ladies have a whole bunch of stuff going on down there. Yeah, yeah. And a whole ecosystem. A whole yeah, really, ecosystem. Yeah. Yeah. It's like care nuts. It. They got a whole, they got like a leadership. They have a Congress down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the jurisprudence on the vagina is fucking thick. Yeah. Evidently, you can make your pussy super strong. Yeah, you can. Snap a dick in half. Or probably hold your urine better than me. Kegels. But let's just show this video of this is a world-renowned <laughs> woman. Do you think it's because the tip of your dick isn't strong enough? 
Yeah. Sex and relationship coach Kim Anami is a woman with a very hidden talent. She's a pro at vaginal weightlifting. Wow. This is the vaginal weightlifting apparatus that I use. It's actually jade carved into the shape of an egg. There's a hole drilled through it, a thread or she a string that comes pussy down, wow. and then that's where we affix tie the object. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. And over look the at years, that. She's gotten creative. <laughs> Donuts. When it comes to strengthening her health. It's Oscar. an Oscar. I can lift skateboards, coconuts, wow. all kinds of tropical Dude. fruit. What else? What are we doing? <laughs> the French crockery. It gets better. Oh, what a life. Kim now practices what she calls her vaginal kung fu up to five times a week. Nice twine. The effects of having a vice-like vagina <laughs> are nothing short of miraculous. <laughs> it strengthens the pelvic floor. It eliminates I, urinary I, incontinence. But it also increases their ability to enjoy sex. Women can ejaculate what? across the room. It helps with squatting across the room. It oh. can create this what? lift Nothing to do in with the lipstick, whole but... system. I've had clients who were Botox users stop using Botox because the lines in their face began to be erased. Yeah, because they're getting dragged and down in the inside of you because the pussy muscles are pushing no. out the other claims. No. The idea of strengthening the vaginal muscles is a good one. It can help with See? sexual satisfaction. This is not a doctor. He is. He's, uh, and it can help he with just has a prevention. Of he just colored in a so big vagina. A I don't know if y'all noticed, but he was in front of a radio microphone, the and there was a topper the on the microphone. The He's a gynecologist, and, and it said so GYN 102. I think, she's I think he has his own radio station about gynec, like KGYN 102.7. Once again, the topic is pussy. What does she do? Nothing. That's her buddy. So she's got some weak ass pussy? She came to my house and presented me with a gift. Ooh. And it was a pouch that had a jade mm -hmm. stone in it. She said it's for your vagina. <laughs> so Good, huh? That was pretty much yeah. our Yeah, Bella, this is extremely yeah. impressive. And Sleazy Dan, we just got to get this going for ourselves. I want to put this in my butthole, see if I can get stronger. Butthole's really pretty strong, dude. Really understood what she's talking so they're just about friends. She says that you Her legs aren't even Look attached. Look at that, dude. Wow. Anyway. Kim I, Venice? World, oh yeah. Yep. So she just goes all around the world. And she doesn't. I want to see more. Wow. Wowie, wowie, wow. Things I live with my vagina. My vagina. She's gonna catch the big wave. Yep. Today, oh, she's, she's a local a gal, huh? Yeah, she's get, got, she's from Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. I don't know what it is. I'm really, I'm really coming to appreciate this area of the world. I love unabashed <laughs> maniacs. Yeah. There's so many more of them here. Amuse, they their jaws. She was drop, shocked. They are very, very intrigued. Uh, intrigued. That's good. Yeah. Unfortunately, not a one of us is a woman. And we can't really see how much we can hold up with our pussies. Yeah. At home, yeah. I honestly don't know how much I could lift up with my butthole. Not much. My butthole, I think I could Wendy. I think if she was in a little, that's seven, eight pounds. Seven, eight pounds. Yeah, that's a lot. But she just kind of hangs out. These are haters. These are haters. No, we don't get all haters. should be careful what they wish for. Wow. God bless her. I have heard of a a friend of mine, knew a woman in Thailand who put three men in the hospital because she didn't know her own strength. I mean, there it is. Wow. All right, so that be is... very careful. Thank you, Eric. A fantastic piece, slice of life. So she said that she knew someone who who was able to snap dicks in half. Mm. I believe it was in India. She What's said. this woman's oh. name? Uh, she puts stuff. I don't I know. I think it's Kim. Yeah, the, the Kim. The chick with the strong pussy. Super what? pussy? Yeah, I, super pussy. I just think that that's great. Yeah. Because our dicks don't do anything. No. I no, mean, no, that's uh, not no, true. Puppetry of the penis. Puppetry of the penis, yeah. Yeah, but that mangles it up. Yeah, it does. It well, I mean, I'm sure it. that's not super healthy for her. Do you not think, though? Because I feel like the grip can help, but I think mostly the grip just helps you be safe in the car. Because then no matter what, you <laughs> yeah. just... Like, if you could do that power, because that's got to be pretty cool. I think that's cool. what like, she was suggesting. If you can just, like... And then no matter what, no matter what anybody does yeah. to you, you'd help 
the environment by mm. putting you in front of construction machines when mm -hmm. they're trying to build new apartment complexes mm -hmm. in front of the forests and stuff. I'm not really seeing the train of thought here. You could fucking yeah. use that I thought pussy. I just wasn't paying attention for the No, I lost it. No, okay, I think he's lost, lost the okay, plot. Thanks. Being right. unmovable. What's that have to do with construction? <laughs> She sits right there, and then the, the construction machines can't go. No, but you're thinking why are you trying to stop construction? You're why thinking of her as more as a, of a suction creature, and she's not a suction creature. She's, she's a more, holy, she's a lifter. She's a whole. But lifter. you don't think that that pull can't also make it a suction cup? Not to the point where a bulldozer is going to be stopped by. No, it. there's I, a video. We that, saw Tenement Square. I mean, yeah, that oh, was a tank. But could you imagine if she if she was that there tank into her and pussy? if uh -huh. she could have grabbed the end of that tank's. <laughs> with her pussy, <laughs> right? That thing's going, and and, 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 and and have just shut down the spirit, the incredible vagina, of the dictatorship. Fuck the fuck the Incredible Hulk. What if her? It's the only thing that turns massive into massive strength is just her vagina. Wow. I just it turns green when she's angry. Please <laughs> chat she though. Can move cars. If you could find her name. And then get us in Dude, contact what? with her. Dude, I just want to see. I want to just. There needs to be. I don't. Uh, don't I, I want to see how contact. much she can lift. We don't need to make contact with all the wonderful creatures of the internet. I feel like this woman mm -hmm. could bring LPN to the next level. Well, I do agree with that. I feel like that we would be burdening ourselves with a woman who would call us too much. It's happened before. <laughs> uh, All right, it's let's... happened. It's happened before. We've we've done this where we have found interesting people with interesting talents. We brought them into our circle, and they did not stop calling. Well, she, for was years. They, she was very old. She was very old. She was nice yeah, at she first, was sweet, and... but then she was mentally ill. Yeah, she yeah. said a bunch of weird things. She's, very, well, she's yeah. a contortionist. But she's got a fucking crazy pussy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a and thing. then every is single time she gets annoyed strong? when she starts saying something about vaccines or like whatever, <laughs> then we can just be like, you know, like no, lift the surfboard again. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's play it. this roller derby clip now that also, we're in Also, uh, it might be close. Let's do the roller derby clip, and then we'll bring in our surprise this guest. This is the Devils and the Outlaws, and this guy, first of all, I want to say, in teeing it up, why didn't roller derby last? They're saying here, the non-vagina having people awesome. in this chat need to go back to school. You're right, because it's cool They do, the non-vagina people. But oh. roller derby was so fucking fun. The, the, the roller derby they used to do at Hunter College up on yeah. 68th Street, it was incredible, because it was an only New York, it was a New York only roller derby league. You had like the Bronx Bombers, the yeah. Brooklyn Sailors, I think, the Manhattan Gridlock. The Manhattan they were, Gridlock. Ooh, that's they were That's very accurate. Incredible. I loved watching that roller derby. But Let's, yeah, you're right. It did kind of fall out of fashion. The 70s had so many great ideas that just fizzled. Mm. I don't know why. Let's go to the 1970s. Let's go to this awesome fucking roller derby competition. Oh, this yeah. dude. Oh, I saw this today. This is great. So good. Two point lead, 30 seconds to go. Here comes Earl Jackson. Does he have enough left? I don't Earl Jackson does not fuck around. No, roller derby is still around. We know that, but it yeah, had a moment. No, but this was like oh, national wow. TV. He just suplexed that. Boom! Oh. Yes! Oh, that had to hurt. Yes! And it's oh. not done. He's not done yet. Boom! Well, that's a teammate. That's his own teammate. teammate. Yeah. But that's yeah, to get him going faster. Yeah, use him for leverage. It's fine. This is fucking awesome. Yeah. And yes! That hurt. He literally hit that guy on the fucking yeah, mouth dude. by the side of his head. Yeah. I think it might have been too dangerous. Well, you're supposed to. It's better. They're supposed to be wearing helmets. I'll say well, that. Well, his helmet did fall off. Oh, it did. It did fall okay. off. Which, well, you know, he used it as a weapon on the other man. <laughs> <laughs> and then it fell off because it had been spent. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, let's have today's special guest. Now, I felt, I know it's Kissel's mandate, but it's a special day. And I figured that it would be so much more fun for her mm. to come <laughs> and sit on so the stream instead of having a birthday Worst party. Worst husband ever. No, no, no. Yeah. You, I think you have a lot to teach the husbands of the world. Uh, I actually. Any ideas. I want, when Nat sits in, I'm going to talk about uh, the fact that we're getting a lot of good uh, feedback on our podcast called Husbands Are Right Sometimes. I I oh, do wow. like this idea. Husbands are right. Husbands sometimes. can be right. Husbands can be right. Sometimes. Right. So now, you guys ready for the birthday girl? The birthday, birthday girl. girl. Natalie Jean. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy, happy, birthday. You, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's better than a party. Happiness. Who needs a party when you've got a husband that has friends like us? Yeah, that's right. Wow, and she's drinking <laughs> wine. That's right. Oh, that's really good. Oh, yeah. Just in time for some very fun clips. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hello, Natalie. Do you like cows and geese? Am I going to see something bad? No, this no, actually no, isn't bad. This is no. actually about a goose. Did you guys know goose, geese? Do you have headphones? Earbuds? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's got all the stuff. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, I do? Oh, boy, is it it's my her birthday? birthday? It's, her it's her birthday. birthday. It's her birthday. birthday. You're not a bad husband. This is a great, what a gift. <laughs> See, what would a what birthday, a what would a birthday be without a accoutrement? What a gift. Huh? Wow. Oh, no. I'm sorry you missed the pussy lifting video yeah. or a series of other moments. A, a moment woman to the lifted a bunch shit. of weights with her vagina. I haven't watched a one for us, one for you since probably 2016. These wow. are not that bad. Oh, These are not that bad. Let's take a look. People in the, the chat are being very nice. <laughs> I hope so. You fucking better be. Good. <laughs> All right. Let's take out. Oh, so, geese. Now, right. there's a group of cows. I'm sorry, you got me. We're heading and, straight into No, this is not territory. gross. This is not. I, I promise you. This is actually just a brave ass goose. This goose does not give a fuck about what these cows are up to. And I just thought it was amazing. And just goes to show you, you can stand up to bullies no matter your size. Let's take a look. Like that woman's vagina could have to the entire well, invading the army woman's in Tiananmen Square. The woman's vagina would have sucked up all the animals here. Could so this, this cow is like, no, fuck you, goose. And the goose is like, no, fuck you. Yeah. You know, now that I think about it, that woman probably could break a goose's neck with her vagina. Without a doubt. I want to get in touch with her and see if she'll do it. So the one cow tries, and the goose says, fuck you. Yeah. And then another cow. This looks like Texas, honestly. It probably is Texas. It very much looks like Let's Texas. Let's be honest. It's Some it's, fucking it's piece Texas. of shit. Well, we got a lot of geese down there, mm -hmm. and a lot of cows. Geese, 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 are, geese are cunts. We have lost audio, but take a look here at this cow. Get the fuck out of here, Goose. Yeah, that looks like That's home. just a smart cow. That is just, no. And that Goose Whoa. says no can do. And that's See, hard to do. That's called side stories. That <laughs> is brilliant. <laughs> there <laughs> it was. So that was a cow versus a Goose. But isn't that cool that the Goose was able to do what it had to do to maintain its its uh, self-dignity? Goose and, and uh, swans are also super mean. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, swans. Yeah, yeah. They, by the way, they say they mate for life, but I don't think that that's fucking true. Well, yeah, they don't get married. Why don't you think that's true? Because... Henry we went said, through. where's the ring? Where's the lawyer? Where are the taxes? Yeah, they can't get divorced. They That's why. Get divorced, so you can't get married or be with something for life. We went through an entire story on a true crime roundup a couple of weeks right. or a couple of months ago about swans that stayed together forever. One of the swans died, and the other swan had to remarry because that other swan also lost their spouse. Kissel doesn't yeah. listen. No, I did listen to that. <laughs> yes, but that, does, it, so that proves my point. And they that's don't the difference, stay, right? They don't. They died. Honey, One of isn't them that died. the difference is that I That listen. doesn't matter because Henry says, and I'm not sure if Natalie actually knows that he says this constantly under oath, which is this podcast. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm held to truth. He I'm says that when he dies, Natalie, you're not allowed to find love again. Oh, yeah. He says that pretty but much. But we've all agreed mm -hmm. that you are. Yeah. And he's going to be dead. Yeah. So. Yeah, she can. But then I show back up. Right, because I faked then, my or, death. Wouldn't that then be I nice? Faked because my then death when to she cheer my funeral, you're gonna, that, like that's kind of a fantasy of mine I've had since I was a kid. We can't do fake that. In my See, own who's, fake? who's your actual friends and who's your yeah. enemies? Well, just to hear the support and the love and the right. crying. Well, it's and definitely how I one way. Needed. It's you know, one like, way to not have anyone show up at your real funeral because I don't think I'd be friends with you anymore. Would it have anything to do with seeing your mother suffering? She'll you, be dead by you, then. Is that what you wanted to see when you were a child and you wished to see your own funeral? Did it have oh, no, 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 I wish I should have treated you better. No, I want oh, women to come for him. from all angles being like, I wish I could have been there for him. Mm -hmm. I wish, did I, wish I give, did I give Henry Thomas, heads. did I give him too much ravioli? <laughs> did I give him, was it me? No, was honestly, it me? Um, she does wish that she could have fed me to death. You think so? My mom wishes that the movie The Whale was real and it was my home. <laughs> That's a bit of a feeder gainer relationship you guys have always had. You'd agree, right? No, it's not sexual. No, it's no, not. No, it's not feeder. sexual. But feeder gainer, oh, I still. The, I mean, you take the sexual component out of it, and what Henry is talking about, it's it's a love component. Of course, it's related. It's yeah, in the sir. same ballpark. Yeah, but she a, does. So she you isn't believe it a perversion of love, isn't it? A little bit. A bit of, yeah, oh, it's, it's definitely a perversion of love. Of love. Yeah. Yes. It's a per, but so you believe that she would have been most happy if she were to express her love to you through food, which is you know something that she did. She would until prefer, you died. Yeah. She would prefer if I was homebound. Well, and that I could not leave, and that she, I actually then would depend upon her for each thing that yeah. she could give me. But then she could also be like, "What I give, what I give." And so then, so your then mom she would also have wants to be alive at her funeral to make sure that you're sorry. She's yeah. been holding that funeral for like ten years. Yeah. yeah, I actually think we should celebrate. We should do for funerals instead of birthdays. For everyone, because we birthdays about it. are for the, the dying, dying funerals, funerals are for the living. living. Um, no, I actually see this here. I there is a, there's a comment here about this KFC flashlight that we do we do need because I know Kissel has been saying that he doesn't do have it and that he doesn't. He we doesn't don't have it. it. I don't want to do this right now. Do we want to do this? Because I was do, gonna, we were, I have an, have an eating video. As we're well. gonna go back. 
You, you want to we have a whole Gibson? mandate. But you got to see this because this is real footage. Yeah, because th- th- for those of you who don't know, many months ago, uh, Kissel made some, I would say, off the cuff. Perhaps off the cuff. They were a little bit, I would say, it was on the cuff. too competent statements about a KFC flashlight and how easy it was to get a hold of one and how they're just well, everywhere. I, you could I buy one was... in 7-Eleven. You could just get them wherever you want. And I, gave I didn't know Kissel, it was like buying a fucking Quran in Utah. I thought that they were easier to get. Yes. I, I gave you two weeks. I was like, two weeks you, get, you, get, you have to get me a it. KFC flashlight. And then you decided that I, you thought I would never bring it up again. You thought that I'd forget about it. He always remembers. I always remember. And you know what? <laughs> Is this you never did produce it. Mm-hmm. You absolutely this is your present. Yes. This is your present. Okay. All right, let's show this. <laughs> Who's hungry for self-pleasure? <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken and Fleshlight are proud to present <laughs> the Fun Bucket, an exciting new way to pump out hunger and unfulfilled oh desires. <laughs> Real original recipe lid, resin coated for lifetime preservation and easy cleanup. What is that? Super <laughs> yeah. entry point. Microwave and dishwasher safe bucket. But before you get to work, top it off with your choice of famous bowl yeah. or spicy famous bowl. The KFC Fleshlight Fun Bucket. It's bucket fucking good. Prices may vary. Please check with your local restaurant for details. You know, I actually really like that. But the, the wonderful the job for Wonderful me. job, Eric. Wonderful uh, job. That's original, thank you, Eric. Yeah, that's thank original you, Eric. content oh, that an Eric there. Original? That is an that's Eric original. That's incredible. Content. And that's a birthday gift. Again. Um, my birthday gift, but of course. This is my only complaint. I think the pussy should be on the bottom. Yeah. But so you look at the chicken. So because mm. what you really want you to do, you want to fuck the chicken. Yeah. So you got the flesh laid on the bottom, and then you can still look at the chicken, yeah, and then you just well, well, you know b- yeah. bounce it up and but down then like at that. The, but at the end of it, you do run the risk of ejaculating into your own face. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, that's, but that's a risk you got to take. And you're definitely ejaculating into the chicken. The way that Eric set it up, you could ejaculate into the bowl, and the ejaculation drain could be at the bottom of the bucket. Well, then so that way you can it. still enjoy. I think it's messier that way. I will say. Not uh, if you hold it over a bathtub while you're doing it. I guess not. But <laughs> or the toilet. Beautiful. Is this different <laughs> than spun? Uh, not our stream, really. I have Amber as my co-host. So yeah, no, it's really not true. that different. That See, is also, true. you're wearing swans as a... As a uh, Look at that. interesting. Yeah, yeah, a difficult bird. That is nice. And Eric, I also... Eric, I also want to... Uh, I want to commend you for using the butthole instead of the vagina. Oh, Thank that you. Was, I thought well, that was a that funny was, looking that thing. That was a butthole. Well, I, see, I actually feel like if you're fucking a bucket of chicken, I want my dick in the chicken. Not like, you don't want any. You want the chick. You want the you want the vaginal portion to be I made of actual it's, chicken. It's actually more perverted to have it be in the bottom because that implies you're hiding it. Yeah. No, that implies that you're like looking the at the theater. chicken. Yeah, oh. I know. I have my fun bucket at home while I'm like all spread out. <laughs> yeah. Don't out. ever go to Marcus's or Henry's house and ask to see their fun bucket. <laughs> I just think that it's if you're wanting, I want to dance like nobody's watching. Yeah. So I gotta f- put that down, and then I'm just fucking a bucket of chicken. Yeah. Because right. I then. If not, I'm lying to myself. Yeah, and then you could also you you could take that fun bucket out into public, and you could just be sitting on a bus with your fun bucket on, and you, that's the thing is that you don't have to just sit that. You can do like just a tiny little like. No, people know when that's public masturbation. Still, it's called edging. Um, let's go. What would you? What would you have sex with if there was a food themed like dildo? Mm. What would you well, do? Well, the ladies already have the cucumber, I the mean, banana. Yeah, I think we, we all have the standard that is dick-shaped. But something yeah. fun. But they, they, think outside of the box. Women are Let's the most fortunate when it comes to that. They yeah, are. Yeah, it's anything without corners. <laughs> you guys can do anything with a hole. Okay, you know I, I, mean? I, got, I got it for you. Veal chop. She doesn't but, like veal. No, she's I a vegetarian. No meat. A ve- no meat. Oh, okay, so that's that's the thing I'm thinking Going of. loins. Oh, no, 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 that's, I'm so I presenting the female perspective on the stream here today. I think that that would leave, that could be very bad. It could hurt. No. You make it thin. Do you boil it? No, no, no. It's plastic. Oh. It's nice because then you have the bucket, you get the fun bucket. Oh, I you get the, get the corn and the guy. You get the sides, okay. and then we can both rub mashed potatoes just on ourselves. Yeah, you know what I mean, and mm-hmm. have that kind of be like a lotion. That's like you apply the mashed potatoes well, the, to the that's... top of the corn and the fun bucket, and then you have sex through the potatoes, and that's actually that's dinner. Well, save it, save it for tonight, guys. <laughs> Wow. I am very hungry. Oh, Bir- birthday, is birthday girl is really oh, she's a lucky lady tonight. Wow. No, I can't mix th- those pleasures. No, no do not mix food because no. it's just messy. Mm-mm. Also, it's just messy. isn't it so nice to eat after? It is. 
Oh, it's better. Yeah, I almost just like. I was thinking about fun. George. I like the eating and the cuddling. You know, oh, yeah. no, George yeah. Costanza has the best. That when he's eating the sandwich while he's having sex with someone. Yeah, else. but it's too. Cause... <sighs> Let me ask you this: If you were to fuck the bucket of chicken, do you think if you did it enough, the grease would give you acne on your genitals? Probably, probably. That's that's. I would also assume that that's actual chicken. Um, no, that's all plastic. I think that's all. I that, think it's straight up the, shellac. It's the, yeah, it's the fake human skin stuff. Yeah. Let's go to I Ate My Mattress. This is one of the extreme eater type shows. Ooh, and oh this, I mean, it's just fascinating to me. <laughs> this is not that gross. This is no, like nothing's Kissel, that gross. Kissel, that's why this is a good mandate for you to be here because his is the less psychic. Yeah, I mean, I just show live attacking. death occasionally, but. Yes. That's, he doesn't even mean to. No. no. That's okay. how broken he is. He doesn't understand that it's. He doesn't <laughs> no. understand the people. I don't you know, know what it takes to kill a person. Some gastro problems. I'm yeah. With a well, foam, do you think Ugh. that you sh I actually find that interesting because I feel like there are certain things that were like, if I eat whipped cream, my tummy hurts. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And there are things where you're like, when you eat that much, essentially fiberglass. Where does it go? I actually don't know. Yeah, what is that? What yeah. is that mattress? I know some people do have stomachs that process things differently than the rest like of us. Like geeks. I, I remember, uh, yeah, it's definitely like geeks, yeah. but I remember this video that I showed many years ago during a live stream. It was a woman giving an interview, a woman who starred in German Scheiße videos. And oh, she no. was talking about how she actually doesn't get sick from yeah. eating shit. She actually doesn't at Can, all. Are we, she, using quote, the, are we using the word starring a little loosely? Yeah. I, I, okay. okay, appearing. Okay, She's a appearing. star to somebody yeah, yeah sure but the, the 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 way she put it is that she said i have a hog stomach <laughs> and i have the stomach of a pig and that was how she pig. was able to she found her niche in the world i, I hate but, everyone but everyone weirdly do I, is it weird to say that i feel that shit's far more edible than mattress material you know, it's not weird at it all. It probably is. I think it probably, I mean, Especially it's organic. It it, it's organic at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, actually, yeah, probably, it's probably corn-based. Oh, Does gosh. anybody know on the chat, because I'd love to know, because all of these My Strange Addictions, Nobody talks about what the rest of America really wants to know, which is what does your shit, shit look like? Look like? Yeah. No what one, is the it all looks the same. The There's five different colors. There's eight different styles, and we all know what it looks like. Yeah, I but when think you, her poop would look that different, to be honest. You really don't think it uh, wouldn't look like, no, like fluffy? Like he, she wouldn't be shitting little rabbits? Her no. shit probably looks dried out. Yeah, I feel like the stomach acid is going to dissolve yeah. that foam. Oh yeah, people are talking about pika. Yeah, obviously, yeah, pika. 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 Yeah, of course. Um, but the, it's the idea. Like, I just, I, I just like wonder what, what, because she, she said since her addiction began, so you're not born with it. So Some I just wonder trauma. what, what day you think it was just a shitty day, and she's like, mattress, you're looking good now. Yeah. I don't know what happens. A lot of people are saying they'd rather eat mattress than shit. I would rather eat that. I would yeah. eat a square mattress than shit. Yeah. Am I the only one here that would much rather eat? This is shit your wife's than birthday gift. <laughs> this is your you wife's birthday gift. I'd rather eat. I would poop. much rather wow. eat a square mattress. No, I don't you, like the texture. You are so. That, you gave that revelation to your wife for her birthday. That, for her birth. For her. Why birthday. is it that? Bad. It's so much grosser. For one so song. Much worse. It's so much grosser. So much worse. It stinks. Well, if it's my shit. That's, it doesn't matter. Is that better? I feel like that's we worse. Go to, we go to Moza. We go to Moza, right? No, no, we're not. No. I eat nothing. You're not going to come finest. back from this. It's not going to taste like pasta. There are times when I go to Jitlana. People <laughs> so are agreeing with eat. me. Everybody's no, no, saying no, they would everybody. rather eat shit. The nobody. chat is on my side. No, they're not. They're you're, on my side. They're all interested. I think you're doing selective editing. <laughs> no. They're all putting me in whatever jail. I'm not going to whatever jail. I am a. I, I understand. I believe you'd rather eat poop. If it's my shit. But he, oh, first of all, you're walking it back. You didn't say it was his yeah. shit. Never I am yeah. saying now, if it was my, it's my for... shit. It can't just be random. What did What did you do I need for her your shit. wife for her birthday? <laughs> I need your shit. Sure. Um, if but, I had to. This but, is all if however, I had to. You know, and none I of just... this is none of this is voluntary. All of this is in a situation in which I am put into a position in which I must choose one of the other things. Everyone else has chosen to just eat a mattress, just suck it up, and just a little bit. But because it's I cancer. Also, but I also yeah, find so it so is shit. I find it interesting that you chose your own shit over your wife's shit. I find that interesting because I again because like it's not I feel sexual. It's not sexual, Great. and I feel that <laughs> I just could talking, just checking. I could put the food in me that I'd want to be a part of that that came out. Mm -hmm. Where Natalie will never eat what I need to eat. I understand. Let's see. Let's I'd like to, to. I feel like I'd eat something spicy beforehand. Yes, <sighs> Jitlada. If you go down to Jitlada, we're gonna go to Jitlada together. We're gonna get super spiced out. Wonderful. Because sometimes you take one and it's like you just. It's like the restaurants in the bathroom. 
It's disgusting. Let's go to this ninja video. We've all seen it before. I just I just remembered Happy this, oh, this yeah. white lady. I mean, this is just Happy like birthday. chop chop. This chop. is just the classic. I yeah. think we played it before. I just oh yeah. Thought... Um, it does seem like this was the kind of end of her music career. <laughs> oh yeah. whoa, weird. Um, oh, it's weird. She has a whole tab that says controversy. Controversy. In, uh, in April of 2016, Murphy Murphy uploaded a video on her YouTube Sweating. channel. Talk about it. That's called self-inflicted. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. uh, at no point, this could have just happened and they could have had the story, mm. but she had it filmed. She was incredibly proud of it. Like well, she was so surprised when there was blowback. Because well, so this was during a time period. She apologize. Do you remember Countess Luann with uh, Don't Be Tardy for the Party? Right when then there was also um, uh, you can't buy money can't buy you class. Yeah. Were these songs these women were putting out yeah, during those, this time period? It was a very specific like, time period. That's like they the, were uh, Real Housewives. Michelle, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Well, no, they, Rebecca Black Friday or Saturday. Oh, but that song's great. Rebecca but Black that's a good awesome, song. Though. She's like grown up and is an actual musician now. Yeah, yeah. She like song. did her stuff now. Um, anyway, so, so wait, she was on the Apprentice. Is her last name actually Murphy, and she sells Murphy beds? I believe that's why she got into the Murphy bed business. Yes, because she's like see. And see, I'm an incredible <laughs> songwriter. Yeah. It's like a chef named with the last name of Burger. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> now, this is actually interesting. I got into this whole phenomenon of moving trees. Money can Have buy you guys heard about this phenomenon? Oh. So this is moving trees conspiracy theory. And I don't know. Let's just play the video. I There's like tons of YouTube videos on this. No, Yo, you're talking about like moving rocks. No, no moving, moving rocks are great. trees. And they do say, scientists do say trees do move a little bit, but this is like a lot of moving. I've been seeing these videos of trees moving. Now, this <laughs> oh my God, guess what? It. it was caught on drone footage, as you can see. Dude, it's wind. It no, like look. The trees are moving, moving. Or at least one of them trees is moving wild. Oh my God, it's a fucking, it's animals and wind. It's probably now, bears. They do say that yeah, you're about to be shook, bro. Down. Like two to three centimeters every couple of years. That's where I got my spack from. Wild. You can actually see the tree. Moving. It's moving. It's, 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 now that it's right. It's, it's moving. It's Look at that fucking tree move. I just saw the bear. That's a bear, right? Now, this is weird. It is a tree. On Watch this. Moving. Like, look at this. This is so crazy. Look at this fucking tree. It's got feet, dude. The way that they're moving. <laughs> I think it's center. soil. Look at that tree. <laughs> is this tincture down? <laughs> no, dude. This, I'm telling you. <laughs> these trees are moving, dude. I feel like how people respond to me about. There's a guy pulling that tree. No, there aren't. I feel like this is a soil erosion thing. That's soil erosion. Yes. And this, of course, has been explained. Patterson Gimlet. Or the roots under there. Bringing it all the way back around. Right. As if the trees are about to move. Almost kind of looks scary, like an earthquake. Yep. It does almost look like an earthquake. This man is afraid of trees. No, because he's afraid of moving trees. The tree is Some moving. Say that they could be on, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so You're telling me this not? No, it is. It's definitely but moving. As you can see, this tree right here was caught on cell phone. Why can't we see the roots, the though? They're and filming this. this. See, she's only well, filming he's far away. You don't want to get too close to it. It's yeah, it's scary. It's an ant. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, we could do a whole deep dive on these. I don't yeah. that. Ben, ben no. I would like to put they you in charge. Yeah, I'm in charge of this. You know what? In charge of this episode. Okay. You write, know if you write an entire <laughs> script... I mean it. I'll write. I'll yeah. We will do the, the entire I'll episode. I'll type yeah. it into chat, chat GPT. See what it comes up with. It. You know what? I think for our next That's true crime wild. roundup, yeah, There's do your moving trees was, uh, chat GPT uh, episode. Please, and we'll, we'll do it. You both about AI well, and moving trees. Wampasaurus Rex says that's all helium that was trapped under permafrost, <laughs> bubbling to the surface. <laughs> you tell me that's fucking helium. That's a moving tree. Like how can it be? Moving? I think some of it might be fake. Sometimes I just love what this you guys man's choose not to believe in is astounding. Not it's not that we choose not to wow. believe in it. <laughs> Look at the tree moving. We're so busy looking at Mars and everything else, we haven't discovered. We're looking at trees. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, we're too busy Mars. looking at Mars. We haven't even discovered ninety-five percent of the ocean. <laughs> we really haven't discovered ninety-five percent. Let me look at that tree. Let me see how fast I can figure out the concept of moving. Moving trees. We got five minutes. Moving <laughs> tree. Like oh, you're literally going to go down a rabbit hole. One simple. Uh, Cuddy McGill says he'll help you know about all about this, Ben, because he knows a lot about moving wood. B BBC rat trees that can walk <laughs> up to 20 meters per year. It's uh, the whole thing about walking trees. And, uh, and? it takes a whole whole day to travel from Ecuador's capital. 
I do uh, mean no, this. Okay, so I give a shit. Seriously, present to us the information on the moving tree. I'll present you a bunch of bullets. Uh, as <laughs> I can, I'll present it. I'm, I'm under fire. As no, the, you're not. You're. You're. I will say. I'm just saying. Trees are moving, bro. Being defensive. We're just. We're here. We're at first. I'm. So, the only reason why I'm laughing is I was just so like in shock and awe. I know what I saw on that YouTube video. I was just so. You got to say it proper. I know what I saw. Yep. I because I I that's why I'm I'm only laughing because of my shock. Of how, how true it is. Of how crazy that was to see. This was sent to me just earlier today to DM. Let's go to Lego City. This is for you, Henry. This is ten seconds long. It's just funny. <laughs> I do wish it was. I think the trees could be. I'm not gonna yuck your yum. I think the trees could be moving. I want them to be moving sure. because then they can go kill all the people that are destroying them. Sure. See, that I'm would be. Down. I hope. I hope. I hope revenge. That, I hope that that's real. Speaking of revenge, this video is for you, Henry. Hey, a man is being fucked over by his local government in Lego City. Build the Killdozer. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> revenge, the new Lego City Killdozer. Yeah! Thanks to, thanks to the fan that said that in my DM. I'm sorry, for, forget your name, but thank you. I thought that was just very Yes, funny. Katie Dotson says my boyfriend's on Kissel's side. Thank you. Let's go, let's, let's watch Sister Boom Boom. This is Sister Boom Boom, a true icon and somebody that I love in every way. I really think I'm gonna. I'm, you guys all like you think this Killdozer thing is just a fantasy of mine, but I can't wait. Once I have land, oh, I no I one thinks you. it's a fantasy. I mean, I, I'm Between gonna need to outsource shit, which we now know that you would rather do than eat a mattress and Killdozer. We believe that you'll do both. Yeah, yeah. I I still can't believe that it was even a debate. Let's watch Sister Boom Boom. This is the surprise you're gonna like at the well, end that hello, I mentioned. Hello, darling. How are you today? I'm fabulous. Who is Sister Boom Boom, and what does she stand for? Well, Sister Boom Boom is really Sister Rose of the Bloody Stains of the Sacred Robes of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, you can call me Boom Boom. I'm one of an order of gay male nuns dedicated to the expiation of stigmatic <laughs> guilt and the perpetration of universal joy. We're called the Sisters of Perpetual <laughs> Indulgence, and we believe that God created a beautiful paradise for us to live in, and if we would all just enjoy the fruits of that garden, there'd be plenty for everybody to enjoy, and everyone could be happy. Are you the Yay. mother superior? Yay. Oh no, we don't have a mother superior. We elect officers in compliance with uh, the corporate laws of the state. We are a tax exempt corporation. Wait for it. But, oh, excuse me, where are those cigarettes? Uh, I think you but, tucked them into your. Uh, oh, thank you. Yes. Mm. Uh, oh, <laughs> well done. But the we uh, sisters basically as an anarcho syndicalist convent. A what? Oh, oh what? Hold on, the big surprise coming. Election, so I don't see that that's relevant. I really look at uh, some of these. <gasps> said Diane Feinstein. Diane Feinstein. Uh, wow, she's been alive if forever. The media didn't make a phenomenon out of them. She oh. said that that character wouldn't exist if the media didn't make a phenomenon out God. of them. Diane oh, Feinstein she... is 89 years old. God. She doesn't know she's alive, but she's still an active she senator wants... in the largest state Leave. in the country. She was. Be she has gone up against so many counterculture oh. figures. That, you know, her and Jello Biafra had a big fight many yes, times and I'm over on the Biaf year. Jello's side. Oh, she, she, awesome. she should be. She's like. Not 91 now. I, right? I think she's 89. 89. And they won't die. And they threw, her staff threw her a retirement party and she didn't get the net. What? Retire. Just wow. go. Just go. Oh, why do, why would you want it when I'm 89 years old? I'm not going to be working anymore unless it's at the whorehouse. Chuck Grassley is 93. Uh, Chuck Grassley probably uh, had sex with Miss Boom Boom a couple of times. Uh, All right. Well, speaking of gay stuff, let's show I, this video. I, I believe the Sisters of Permanent Indulgence. That is actually that's a theater group in New York. That was like they were very cool. Like, I love them. That's a part yeah. of the same group, the Theater of the Ridiculous. That was mm -hmm. uh, that they basically created modern camp. They're they're fucking aw they're yeah. great. I oh, guess yeah. they went into back them in college. They went back and forth uh, between San Francisco and uh, New York a lot. We ca covered them in our Screamer series oh. on No Dogs. Are they in space. actually tax exempt? No. Oh man! No, no, See, no. See, they should be. If they haven't heard enough children. Churches. Yeah, Tamada Duplenty, I don't think knew a whole lot about filing tax exempt. They status. haven't done enough child bloodletting to get yeah. tax exemption. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to this clip. It's just kind of funny because I think the guy was kind of confused on maybe who he is a little bit. Man, I am not gay. <laughs> I have relationships with women and sex with men. And I got news <laughs> for you. That means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. That was on television. Oh, man. That was like on TV. <laughs> this has been a wonderful stream. It well, absolutely. We're been celebrating so much fun. birthdays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got. We actually got. If you see, you got a little rat back there. Yeah. You yeah. see a little rat back there? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Eric 
Do we have a happy birthday song? I don't think we've really played. Want me to take my shirt off? No! No! Get on, Jackie! No, it ain't legal, Jackie. Get away from it! Get away from it! I've seen a lot of the Zabrowski today. Get away from me! everyone thanks for watching the stream get away from me we're gonna be back next week we'll be back the following week Don't yeah, yeah, yeah we're, there. You know. we're not here next week we're here the week after I show my everyone wins no don't show your belly <laughs> <laughs>